what are the benefits of our two expert certifications? You know, that's a great question. And I like that we're talking about them both together because there are two different tracks that you can go through at CWNP to reach what we call an expert status. There's the Wi-Fi track, which is focused just on 802.11 Wi-Fi networks. And then there's the wireless IoT track, which focuses on a lot of different IoT protocols, integration of IoT protocols, security is all throughout as we talk about the different topics in wireless IoT and so forth. But at the top of both of those, there's an expert certification. So for those that want Wi-Fi expertise, we have the CWNE, the Certified Wireless Networking Expert. And then for those that want IoT expertise, we have the CWISE, the Certified Wireless IoT Solutions Expert. What both of them do is they show that, first of all, you've passed a number of very challenging exams. For example, to get your CWNE, you have to pass, at a minimum, CWNA, CWSP, CWDP, and CWAP, and CWISA from the Wireless IoT track plus one external certification, maybe from a vendor like Cisco or from some other vendor neutral certification provider, but something that shows that you've gone outside of just the CWMP certification. So you have really well-rounded knowledge. In addition to all that, you have to have three years of experience within the industry that you can document. And you have to then submit all of this to a board of individuals who are themselves experts, and they're going to evaluate your level of expertise and either approve or reject it at the current state. If it's rejected, you can go back and tune up your application, get some more experience, apply again. If it's approved, you become a CWNE. So as you can see, this is a certification that we can call a peer reviewed certification. Now, if you know anything about the literature in, 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 publishing literature where you have peer-reviewed articles, what it means is when someone writes an article, several of their peers review it, give feedback, say whether it's accurate or valid or not, if it's beneficial, for example, to the market within which it's being placed. And only then is it published after peer review. The CWNE is like that. You have to go through, I call it a gauntlet of peer review where the experts, experts, they're sometimes called, these people that sit on the CWNE board, evaluate your experience and some documents that you've created in order to determine if you truly have reached that expertise level. And so those that acquire the CWNE are truly and surely experts in the Wi-Fi space. Now, the other one, the CWISE, is very similar. The only difference is what's required. Well, I have to pass CWISA. CWIDP, CWICP, CWIIP, and CWNA from the Wi-Fi track. So as you can see, this is a lot of knowledge here from CWNP, but then also you need that one external certification as well related to wireless IoT networks. Once you have all of that, you can do an application, submit it to go before the board for evaluation and gain approval for CWISC. Once again, showing you are an elite expert in the wireless IoT space. So these two certifications, they don't have a specific exam for them, but rather they're all these other exams you have to first pass. And then you can apply to acquire these certifications. And as long as you have the appropriate experience and the documentation that you submit is approved by the board, you can gain those elite expert level certifications, which are really in demand when people see that you have those. The interesting thing is I've even talked to several people that acquired their CWNE, for example, then they went to a job interview and it was on their resume and the managing individual who was interviewing them said, what does this even mean? I don't know what a CWNE is. And mm -hmm. so they, they explained the whole process, everything they had to do to get it. And the manager then would later tell them, you know what, that CWNE is why I decided to hire you over everybody else. Because when I realized what you had to go through to get that, I knew I could trust your knowledge. Because the CWNE is not going to be held by anyone that hasn't mastered Wi-Fi knowledge. And the same is true for the CWISE in the wireless IoT space. So anyone that holds those expert certifications, they really know what they're talking about with these technologies.